Hey, what y'all do with Mandy? <laughs> She's off. She's That's off today. Oh, wait a minute. Let's, let's spread out a little yeah, bit. Really? Let, Thank let, you. let everybody Thanks, in. Okay, uh, we're going to scrimmage uh, out at about 10.30 tomorrow, but uh, we'll start scrimmaging about 11 o'clock, so the uh, it'll be open in the stadium. Uh, should be a pretty day and so forth. So we're, we're looking forward to that. Guys uh, had a Letterman's weekend this week, so you can see all the Letterman down and so forth. But the guys are, are doing pretty well. And we look forward to the scrimmage tomorrow. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll let all the young guys do most of the playing. And uh, should be good. Hopefully we'll get a good crowd out there, okay? Still Justice kind of Justice should be back. Uh, he's got a little sore on his back, but he won't scrimmage tomorrow. He won't scrimmage tomorrow. It's fine. Like, well, in the concert, you talked about Ronald Patrick having a serious eye infection. How serious yeah, is injury? Yeah, Ronald is had some surgery yesterday, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be enough to get him straightened out. But he had uh, an abscess uh, behind the eyeball that they hope they've, uh, they've, they've got it, and, uh, and he's on the road to recover. So we had a prayer from Ronald Patrick. Anytime they go into your head, uh, you know, near your brain or whatever, yeah. it is serious business. So hopefully everything's going to turn out, but he'll, he, he will miss the rest of the spring in all likelihood. Do you have any reaction to all the stuff about uh, Clowney being on the, on the internet now about being stopped last night? Uh -huh. You sure? Yes. Film that. Film that. Yeah. Top notch video. The issue. What? What is this? Ha ha. 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 Yeah, don't find the key. Don't find the key. That would be hilarious. Give yourself electric bell money. Can I see it? Shit shot. Yeah. You're suspended. Somebody robbed the convenience store down here. One of the witnesses said it looked like the head ball coach at South Carolina. <laughs> So I had to tell him I didn't leave practice all day today, and uh, he, he said it's okay. And uh, Jadavion Clowney, the story that we found out is that last night he should not have been around town at two in the morning, uh, but he was with some teammates, Gerald Dixon, and uh, they were at five points, and uh, there was a robbery downtown, and uh, allegedly somebody said uh, the guy that was the robbing uh, was a tall guy that looked a lot like Jadavion. And so they went in and questioned him, didn't know who he was, and cuffed him up, just like I just got cuffed up. <laughs> and after Chief knew that I did not rob that convenience store down the road, uh, he let me go, and last night they let Jadavion go. Uh, but a lot of people would probably get upset getting handcuffed. But the police have a tough job to do. And they don't know who's got a gun that's going to shoot them or not. So a lot of times uh, they will put a handcuff on a person and uh, ask a few questions and then uncuff him, and that's the end of it. So Jadavion was not arrested. It was a mistaken identity. And uh, he was let go very soon after they asked him a few questions. So hopefully the moral of the story. Yeah, I've talked to Jay Avion today. Was he, today. Was he shook to him up? Today. Was he shook up? He, he didn't seem too upset about it uh, when I talked to him. He told me what happened. And he said they let him go right after they asked him a few questions. And uh, and I think you know we got to understand police have a job to do. And they don't know who has a gun, who doesn't. So so it's not embarrassing to be handcuffed. That's what I'm trying to say. Rick, you've been cuffed up before, eh? uh, Well, I, I want to talk about that. <laughs> but Steve, I know Scott. in the past, you, uh, you you said that you weren't going to make five points off limits to your guys. Um, are you thinking about reconsidering that? No, no, that was, like I said, that was mistaken identity. You know, I asked him, Jadavion, you weren't down there drinking, being loud, making a disturbance. He said, Coach, I don't even drink. 
I don't drink. He's not even a drinker. I mean, he said he went down there with some guys, and uh, now I wish he hadn't have gone. And hopefully, he's going to learn not to go down there real soon. Uh, but you know, I think he walked in two or three bars, and all the fans started chanting "Clowny, Clowny" again. And, <laughs> Hopefully he'll get tired of it by saying clowny. Hopefully out there in that stadium is the next time people are going to start chanting clowny, clowny. That, that would be the next time I hope to hear that. Did you speak with his family at all, Coach? I talked to him personally, and he told me what happened. I said, well, we will try to handle it the best we can here, and we did. And, of course, you know, you get a, a picture of him on the Internet. You know, what did he do? What did he do? He's arrested. He's, he's going into the into the jar. Uh, but it wasn't the case. And, so anyway, hopefully uh, all the Gamecocks, uh, you know, we all can learn that a person can get handcuffed and police are just doing their job and uh, it's no big deal. Now if they take you downtown and keep you two or three days, we got some, <laughs> yeah, we got, we got some issues, right, Chief? But uh, anyway, that's what happened. Was he actually inside of the bars or just outside with friends? He was, he was inside. Do you know if there were 18 and up bars or 21 and up? You know, I don't know all the rules. If you can get in, I know you cannot drink if you're under, uh, under 21. Under, uh, yeah, under 21. But I don't know if they let some in. But they don't serve them. I don't know all the rules down there. I don't. I don't hang out down there. What are the rules on that, Chief? Can they can they get into a bar if they're under 21? No. He he on this particular bar, he should not have been able to get in the bar. Um, I spoke to the bar a few minutes ago. Uh, the, the doorman was terminated from that position, but I want to make it clear um, that he did nothing wrong. Um, he was was detained because of that. He was not drinking. He was not consuming any alcohol. Um, so I just wanted to be clear that he has done nothing wrong, and hopefully we'll see him on this USC football field. Your officers behaved the way you would want them to? They, they acted appropriately. Um, we have a responsibility to make sure everyone is safe. And when we get a call about a, a robbery or a description, we have to act up on it. We can't just ignore it. But again, I just wanted to be clear, he didn't do anything. Just like I didn't do anything wrong. Well. <laughs> whatever you have. Well, maybe the coach whatever, you have. <laughs> whatever do you have. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Good job, Chief. Good job, Chief. Good job, Chief. Good job, Chief.